Hi guys, welcome to Celebula SA, where you get the latest news on all things trending and newsworthy. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Natasha Tahana found herself having to clear the air after she made mention of receiving hundreds of thousands towards her education at an international acting academy. She was on podcast and chill with Mac G where she had a little slip up that Balegambete helped her with her influence to get her funding towards her tuition fees, which came all together to more than a million rands. She received so much backlash from people that she felt the need to rectify her misrepresentation within regards to her relationship with Umam Balegambete. In her two-part video, she also made mention of the exact amount she received from the department. Greetings, Sanbona. I would like to issue a public statement addressing some of the things that were said about my interview with McGee regarding my funding to study in the U.S. in 2017. I did not receive one million rand from Mambalegambete or the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. If you listen to the interview, you'll realize I was taken out of context. And before I even go through the process, I would profusely like to apologize to Mamba Legambete and the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. Because when I watched back with the interview and I listened, I realized that I spoke about her and got to have a personal relationship, which is not the case. She was at a meeting. I was in the building. I then approached her. And I stated, Guti, I've been accepted to go study in your film academy. And is there any advice you can give me regarding funding? She then advised me to explore the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture because they've got funding opportunities. That was my first conversation and my last conversation with her. She did not make any calls on my behalf. She did not send any emails on my behalf. And I apologize for diluting the entire scenario because I made it seem like I had a personal relationship with her, which is not the case. I then sent through my application form and proposal to the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, um, together with other funding organizations, um, NYDA, NVFV, GFC, and many other. I then received communication that my funding application has been approved and has been accepted. I then received funding towards my tuition for the first semester to the value of 350,000. From that 350,000, I received 315, 315 um, to pay towards my tuition. I then had to submit a report with my grades and showing that I am at school and I'm attending at school to then receive the outstanding balance of 35,000, which summed it up to the 350,000. I did state in the interview that I received money from the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and I received it for the first semester and my grand sister helped me with the retirement money for the second semester and I still owe tuition. And with my agreement with the department, there were conditions. Um, conditions like my academic performance and what I had planned to do and my contribution towards the arts upon completion, which I've held up to. I will continue to play my part and to contribute towards the arts. And my intention for sharing and saying, Gutsi, I've been assisted with funding was to highlight that I did not do this alone. No, I've had support throughout my journey. And without the funding from the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, I wouldn't have pursued my dream of studying abroad. And I truly appreciate it. And I am sorry for the miscommunication and diluting the entire story. Thank you.